Hello, hello, I'm Valerie Orsoni, your healthy living and weight loss coach. Today I'm going to share with you my very own pesto recipe. It's not the classical version, so really don't email me saying, oh my god, this is not what I'm used to. It's my little version. I'm going to be using basil, obviously, that's the, uh, <laughs> the basis of this recipe, and parmigiano, normal, and pine nuts, of course, olive oil. The two ingredients which are pretty new here are kale and ricotta. I think the mix of kale and basil and ricotta and parmigiano makes it a little bit softer, so I hope you will enjoy the recipe as well. So we're going to get started with the basil, and you will see, I will basically put a little bit of each ingredient, spin, blend, use my spatula to bring everything back in the center and blend again. It takes a bit of time and there is no precise amount of each ingredient you use. Really use what you like. If you like more parmigiano, you will put more, more parmigiano. We do not put salt because that's salty enough. Some people like it with more ricotta. It's really your choice. So let's get going. The most important thing is to remove all the stems from the basil and start with about two thirds, no more, of the blender filled up with basil. Then we add some olive oil. Again, there is no real measure because you start with about, I would say, a fourth of a cup, maybe more, and you start blending and you see what happens. <laughs> So now the first blend is done, I will put all pine nuts. I usually put about three to four tablespoons, again you can put more. It really depends on the power of your blender. If it's strong, you can put more pine nuts. So then I'll put also all the ricotta, it's about three tablespoons. If you're lactose intolerant, you can totally use a vegan cheese instead of ricotta. We'll blend once more. And every time your blender gets stuck, you use your spatula and you bring all the ingredients in the center. And that's pretty much what I will be doing from now on. I will add ingredient by ingredient using the top of the lid so that it actually blends slowly. And whenever we get stuck, we remove everything and use our spatula. Here we go. I will also put some uh, parmigiano, about three to four tablespoons also. Voila, here we go, we have a nice pesto, two different textures. This one is more coarse, this one is more blended, your choice. To serve it, I like to plate it with a little bit of pine nuts on top and some gluten-free crackers in it. You can add a spoon for those who want to serve their own pesto with a spoon. Now, if you want to keep your pesto for a few more days, I advise you to put it in a jar, cover the jar with olive oil so that there is no oxidation possible. And then when you want to serve it, remove the olive oil and just enjoy it. Have a great day.